So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we have another guest, another member to the YouTube channel. So he will be uh, introducing you guys to this game. He'll also be teaching you guys how to make this game called Chain Reaction. So today we're going to be making this Chain Reaction game where there will be balls going around the screen and you have a dot which will try and collide with the other dots. So today we'll be learning how to use a broadcast message, a run without screen refresh custom block, and using the random operator and touching a, if touching a color. So now when we demo the game, So as you can see, there are dots going round, and you place one, and it shows your score at the end and the all-time high score. So as you can see, there are dots, and it shows your score because you have two dots colliding. Okay, so now let's make a new project. and name it Chain Reaction. And delete Scratch Cat and choose Paint a new sprite. And select this. And let's make it a gray color, light gray. So here, and make it and set the pen size to 36 and make a dot in the middle. So this should give you a dot size of about 18 by 18. And let's center this. Okay, and let's name this uh, starting dot. Now when fly when the green flag is clicked, let's broadcast to start the game. So, start game. And now, when we, when we receive start game, let's make a new variable and call it dots left. Dots left. This will be counting the dots. When the dots on the screen, the your gray dots on the screen reaches zero, then you'll lose and it will show your score. So first let's set dots left to zero. Let's make another variable called player.down. And let's set player.down to no since you haven't placed your dot down. No. And then we want it our dot to show. Clear its graphic effects and set size to 50%. And now let's repeat until player dot down is equal to yes equal to yes so we want it to go to the mouse pointer so go to mouse pointer so now if we try it when we start player dot down should be no dots left is zero and it's going to your mouse pointer. Okay. So now if the mouse is down, so if mouse down, then we're going to set player dot down to yes.
so that'll terminate this loop. It's not going to the mouse pointer anymore. And let's broadcast start counting. So this will start counting your score and seeing if there's no more dots on the screen. So it'll also see if you lose or not. Start counting. And let's change dots left by one. So now if we see if this works, it's moving around the screen. Player dot down is no. If you click, the loop isn't working. You're not going to the mouse pointer anymore. Player dot down is yes. Now we want it to get larger. So grab a repeat block, repeat 40, change size. So change size by 90 divided by 90 divided by size divided by 10. And then we're going to wait one second and then we're going to repeat 10, change size by 90 divided by size by negative 50, change dots left, so change dots left by negative 1, and then we're going to hide. So now if we try it, it's following your mouse. When you click, it gets larger, it waits, and it gets smaller. Perfect. Now that this code works, let's start making the other dots that go around the screen. So let's make another sprite and name it other dots. Other dots. And let's make them a lot of different colors. So, so now I've made a lot of other dots and they are different colors. And the last one should be the same color as yours, this dot. So to duplicate it, drag this into the other sprite. So now we also want them to be about the same size. So you see this one, all of them are 18 by 18. And this one is also 18 by 18. So now let's go into the code. And when I receive start game, so now let's create a new block called create clone. And make sure to check run without screen refresh or else this will not work. So first we want it to go to a random position and point in dot a random direction. So point in direction. Pick random negative 360 to 360. And now we're going to repeat until touching the edge. Repeat until touching edge. Move one step. One. And turn 180 degrees. 180. And then move five steps. Now we're going to create a clone. So create clone of myself and then switch the costume. So switch costume to 
pick random one to seven. Pick random one to seven. And now when I start as clone, we want to show. And then when I receive start game, we want it to clone. So forever, let's wait uh, 0 0.1 seconds and then we'll clone. So now if we try it, there should be dots appearing around the screen. So you can see, if you click, this dot expands and then it goes down again. Good. So now we want it to travel across the screen. So when I start as clone, repeat until touching edge. Move five steps. And then lastly, we want to delete this clone. So now you see that the dots are moving around. Maybe a little bit slower. Three steps. There. Oh yeah. And also set the size to 50%. And now they're, they're the same size as the mouse dot. And now if you click, it should work. That's it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a like on the video. Stay tuned for part two.